two for the points championship. Todd Taylor and Ken Cassidy Jr. bring the field out of turn number four. Green flags out for the involved pro trucks as they head down the front stretch. Todd Taylor with the lead. I don't think Todd Taylor could have had it come out better. He's got the 11 behind him and a full clean track ahead of him. Uh, I see Dwayne Noel looking to move his way up on the inside. These guys are pacing right now. They have a long way to go. Up to speed, full speed at that into turn number one. Here comes a hard charging outside lane led by Tyler Chapman. Chapman moves into second spot against truck number 11, Ken Cassidy Jr. New to the series is that 12 truck of Ed Ryan. Up oh, on the back stretch. The first like the two. two. Yes, Don Karen. Karen has spun out in the first caution flag of the afternoon for our Evolve Bank and Mortgage Pro Trucks comes out. Those clean, did a great job. We expect them to be a front runner. Yeah, you gotta like the wrap on that truck. Good looking ride, but a better looking ride is the 47 because he's up front. It's Todd Taylor and it is Tyler Chapman. Green flag is out and we're back underway with this restart with 69 laps to go in our main event. And down the back I, stretch. Go ahead, Joe. Get up, Joe. Down the back stretch. Here comes Chapman to the outside. Chapman with the advantage going into turn number three. Side by side. Taylor on the gas. Down low. Side by side with Chapman. Chapman with the lead. Chapman's new would be tough. Just took her on the outside and rolled himself right into that front spot. Todd Taylor is now having to fend off another regular from Waterford, the 11 of Ken Cassidy. Boy, a great battle for the fourth position there, uh, Marshall, side by side for the couple of champ challenge uh, trucks. We got Randy Burr to the inside and Dwayne Knoll to the outside. Could the, uh, f could the Dwayne Knoll deuce be uh, really having a good afternoon? He goes side by side with the 32. You know, Dwayne, when he won his championship with us last time, he kind of hung around and, let, and logged in laps, and all those front guys got in trouble, and when it was all over, he was standing there with the championship trophy. So this guy knows how to compete in a championship event. Trying to get some laps in here. Tyler Chapman with the lead. The BMW paving number 81. Looking awful stout there up front by four truck lengths over Ken Cassidy Jr. Cassidy, a champion here two years ago in that uh, jolly number 12 machine. Then it gets back to the serious business. The next four trucks are our four trucks involved with the championship, and they are Taylor, they are Burr, they are Noel, and here comes G-Rod. Yeah, they're, they're, they're lined up nose to tail, and they know that they want that spot that that blue truck is in up the front. That is what they're after. They have plenty of time to get there. So we're seeing that logging of laps go in. It's going to matter who's fast and, you know, 75 laps. we got a long ways to go. And certainly, uh, certainly any one of them can take over and end up with the championship or the race. These are veterans. Well, I tell you, there's action all over the speedway, even towards the back of the pack. Mad Money, Sean Karen going at it with Tom Scully the third in that 57. Tommy O'Sullivan, he goes way back off the gas to avoid those two trucks going side by side up front. It's about a one truck, maybe two truck advantage now for your leader, and it is Tyler Chapman. Chapman, a regular in the late model division here as well at the Speedball. Uh, if you look halfway back in the pack, there's the number six of Andy Pellegrini. Uh, we wish his, his girlfriend was in the hospital all night. He was there late, late, late. He managed to get to the track, and he missed all the practice, but I think he got some qualifying laps in, and he's about halfway up the field right now. Great run by Andy Pellegrini. Yeah, good run also by, it looks like, the number 12 of Ed Ryan Jr. Then it's the one New England, Dennis Charette, and behind the wheel of that machine. And then you got the 14, the Hunt Racing Sydney Burdick Motorsports number 14. And that truck's doing a good job running uh, in, it uh, looks like, position number 8. Yeah, Damien Sodow. Damien Sodow is, uh, you know, he, his father's racing with him out there in the 151. He came on to the circuit about three races ago, and he's done nothing but impress everybody with his veteran thinking and his smooth driving. Heartbreaker for Chris Taylor. He has pulled off in the number five. Chris Taylor pulls off in the number five truck. Unfortunately, that machine could be out for the day. Chris Taylor off the pace. Well, the Taylors have the most fun at the track. I, I would imagine after the races, that'll be a fun place to hang around as long as that 47 sits up front. But now Randy Burr, he's putting a little heat on that rear bumper of the 47. 
Yeah, when you're talking about the kind of money to win this championship, this points championship, anything can definitely happen. It looks like the 47 is starting to lose his side body panel on that truck. That truck is starting to disintegrate on Todd Taylor. If you notice, as it comes out of turn number four, the right side body panel is starting to dislodge itself from the frame of the truck. So uh, I don't know if that's going to have any uh, impact on the speed of that truck. Right now he's doing a good job in third. And lit off the back of the deuce. Uh, you can see a little bit of smoke coming out of turn four. I don't know if that's rear end smoke or tire smoke at this point, but obviously he may be having a problem. So of the top four in the championship, two of them might be having a little issue. Johnny O'Sullivan out of this thing with the 51 truck. That truck goes into the infield. He's done for possibly the day. He pulls in there with Taylor. And uh, once again, smoke does come out of that deuce, uh, as Marsha was uh, saying that. I don't know if it's raw tire rub, but even if it's tire rub, there's still so many laps to go here. That could pro prove to be a big issue for Dwayne Noel. Battle up front is heating up between the number 81 and the number 11 machine. Yeah, Cassidy wrote, reeled him in probably within three laps ago and he's now hounding on that back bumper he wants the top spot 75 laps a night he's charging all the way through and he wants to be in the lead so ken cassidy jr trying to put the 11 to the front it seems to the 81 may be starting to lose the handle on that truck as he drifts a little bit high going into turn number three the 32 tried to dip under the 47 there last time by, and smoke continues to come out of the deuce of Dwayne Noll. It would be a heartbreaker if something happened to Dwayne Noll. Yeah, he's known for being such a great mechanic, but right now we have problems in that rear end of the two. Hopefully, like you say, it is a tire rub, but it looks more and more like rear end smoke to me. I don't know if there's any leaking going on, but they're certainly concerned in the two pits. Look at the battle up front. To the inside, Ken Cassidy Jr. He's got him a run going into turn number three. Looking for that $1,000 payday. Ken Cassidy Jr., he will be your new leader. Is it coming to the stripe? No, it's still Tyler Chapman. Chapman with the advantage. Cassidy's got an inside run, but we got a lap car truck as we go down the back stretch. No harm, no foul, Cassidy. And Chapman still put on a good show. Oh, talk about a show. These two are going at it, and they're racing clean at the same time, but it ultimately the 11 prevails out to the top spot. It's 11, Ken Cassidy. Oh, trouble for the deuce. A heartbreaker for Dwayne Noll. He goes way up in the marbles. Let's see if there's problems with truck number two. Dwayne Noll, more and more smoke coming out of that that Marshall noticed a few laps back. Yeah, I think he's just about had it for his day. Really heartbreaking. He'll take fourth in the championship. Obviously, a lot of fluid down behind him. But that's the end of his day. Uh, great season. Made the playoffs. Fourth place in the championship for Dwayne Noll. A gentleman indeed. Dwayne Noll off the pace and unfortunately in the pit area. Fluid all over there. And that looks like rear end fluid from that number two, but a great battle for the third spot. It's side by side between the 32 and the 47 for third and for the championship. Yeah, they're door, door to door. Randy's been working him all along. They seem to have put a little gap between them and G-Rod, so now's the time to do battle, and they're having at it right now. Todd Taylor's got the spot, but the 32, the freeze, he wants it, Randy Burr. It would be a feel-good story for him. We got trouble on the back stretch. And number 15 starting inside row number three on this restart. Ken Cassidy, he's got the advantage under the stripe. He is your leader as the green flag waves here in the pro trucks. 35 laps to go. And side by side up in the lead, it looks like Chapman's going to pull that 81 right back into the top spot. Randy Burr trying to follow him along in the 32s on the outside. A little bit of contact there between Taylor and the 32 of Burr. No harm, no foul. Burr's going to get the spot. He right now is your point leader. He is running third in the number 32. 
Oh, Randy, Randy had a half break during the COVID years. He missed the playoffs by one point when he was winning races left and right. So this is really a great thing to see is him in contention for this championship. Randy Bird running third with a 32 pulling away from Todd Taylor. G-Rod trying to get around Taylor for that fourth spot. Meanwhile, up front, great battle for the lead. Oh, Cassidy's working that bottom groove, and it's really tough to get off these corners. You see him a little loose on that bottom groove but getting the power down is the whole deal, and we have a side-by-side -side bond burner up in the lead. Dennis Charette on the move. He's moved up to the sixth position with truck number one. Charette in the one up front. Cassidy's got an inside move on the 81, Tyler Chapman. I cannot believe how tight the racing is up on that front row, and listen, those guys behind them are just waiting for this to sort out so they can take their chance at winning. Winning is just as important as the championship. There are no race drivers that don't want to get the victory lane. Meanwhile, here comes Burr in the 32 to challenge the leaders. we got a slow truck coming out of turn number four. That machine needs to get down low and does. That's the 25 truck. Leaders zip on by, and it's Ken Cassidy Jr., former mini stock and truck champion, up front and in the lead. I, I just love how this, this guy drives. He's got a great personality, really fun to work with in the pits. I don't get to race with him all year, but I certainly wish we could because he is showing the skills he's developed here at this track. He can run with anybody, and that truck is just motoring along on cruise control out front. Tyler Chapman running second. It's clean, mean, and green up front. Top six trucks looking real smooth. After that, it's side by side. Here comes Damian Sordell trying to get to the inside of Ed Ryan driving that number 12. Ed Ryan has impressed me. Uh, I actually hadn't met him till today. Come out, he's come out and run really strong through the early portions of this race. Again, another smooth driver that's made his uh, made his way here at the speed bowl uh, it's really great to see him running so competitively with our group jason paquet gets around the 12 but ryan's trying to pay him back to the inside and the two trucks do come together just a little bit the 12 drifts up way up high that number 94 truck is a ford machine with jason paquet behind the wheel up front it is all Ken Cassie now with just 23 laps to go this time by. Yeah, 23 to go. I see that G-Rod is getting impatient with the 47. So you might want to keep your eye on that battle right there. Uh, whether he can get by him, anybody's guess. But I would say that it's going to get heated a bit for these back spots because their championship is right in front of their eyes. Those three drivers, the 32, the 47, and the 15, first, second, and third in the championship. It means a lot of money, it means a lot of prestige, and really as the laps are dwindling down towards 20 laps to go, there's starting to be some pressure to make your move. G-Rod definitely on the move with that number 15 truck, trying to get to the tailgate of the 47. 47 of Taylor's got the position right now, but G-Rod has got to get his game face on and move up with that number 15 machine. Cassidy is just, schooling everybody it is unbelievable how smooth he is just cruising out there it's amazing uh just amazing job and and listen chapman's right there these guys are all waiting maybe another caution or something to catch him up not sure but uh the laps are dwindling down and the, the favor is starting to fall to the 11 of king cassidy any truck that can pull away from Tyler Chapman like Cassidy did is impressive indeed. And he continues to add to his lead of 1.8 seconds right now for Ken Cassidy Jr. over Tyler Chapman. Then it's on to third spot, and it's Randy Burr. Burr in third, driving that 32 machine. Well, you know, when you see these late stages, most of these drivers are not used to racing over 50 laps. Most are 25, 35. So you're starting to see the fatigue to set in. You're starting to see the cars with the good crew chiefs handle better. But I just can't find a flaw up front there, that's for sure. Yeah, he's doing a great job in that number 11 Jolly Racing Machine. He's got the lap machine of Sean Karen. Sean's had him himself a, a tough year. We don't get to see him too much on the Evolve Pro Truck schedule, but uh, good to have Sean Karen here this afternoon. Well, he was joking around earlier. He said that he might have to stop and take a rest on the main stages because of that 
endurance you need to complete one of these races. So it's good to see him hanging in. He did lose a lot, but he's really doing a great job keeping the 52 rolling. Well, Randy Burns definitely caught the rear tailgate of Tyler Chapman. The deal is, does Randy want to get around him? Uh, he has to. He has to get around 14 laps to go. You got to move. Uh, there you go, Todd Taylor making his move, and then it cuts to 15. I still have to mention that 14 of uh, Damian Siddell. What a job. His, I don't believe he's raced a race this long in this type of vehicle, even close. Very impressive job by the 14. Yeah, 75 laps is not easy around this Speed Bowl facility, man. These guys are dicing and slicing, and a heartbreaker there for Ed Ryan as he goes pit side. Ed Ryan Jr. out of this thing in the number 12. Well, sad to see. Really like the job he did today. Maybe we'll get him to a couple more tour races. But now the battle goes on still. Everybody's kind of comfort in their spot. It seems like the 47 is closing in a bit on the 32. So the 11's got the lead, the 81 second, the 32 of Burr chasing him down, and the 47 is definitely coming. It'll be 10 to go this time by, and Todd Taylor has found a second life in that number 47 truck as he pulls away from G-Rod in the 15. G-Rod's got to start worrying about Dennis Charette in the Leone Financial number one truck. That truck's on the move. You have to wonder what it's like to be trying as hard as you can and look at your championship probably four car lengths in front of you after you've worked all year. So uh, Todd Taylor, the regular points champion, he missed by one point, and now he's one position off being the series champion. Does he have a charge in these last nine laps? Laps are definitely dwindling down. Eight to go that time by four-year leader, Ken Cassidy Jr. in the beautiful green and black number 11. So far, clean and green here for the Evolve Pro Trucks as they go down the back stretch. Tyler Chapman picks up about a two-truck advantage over the 32 of Burr. Burr running third and Todd Taylor looks like he's starting to uh, get the gap closed between himself and Giordano. Uh, Giordano always makes a late charge. I'm surprised he hasn't made one here, but I just think these top guys are on their game today. For sure. Seven to six laps to go now for your leader. Ken Cassidy looking for his first Evolve Bank and Mortgage Pro Truck feature event win, Ken Cassie trying to put a lap on Tom Scully the third. I, I don't know enough about his history, but I don't believe he has a Torrent Series win of any type. So this will be his first Torrent Series win. He is doing the job. He's just on cruise out front in the 11, Ken Cassidy. All the way through this pack, man, some great racing as the trucks get ready to wind down their season with Cassidy in the lead. But your big story is right now, Randy Burke, and he hold on to that third spot in front of the 47 machine of Todd Taylor and G-Rod, a hard-charging G-Rod in the 15. Well, I'll tell you what, these guys have been about the same gap. They're driving as hard as they can. That one doesn't seem to be able to make any room on the other, evenly matched as they have been all season. Tremendous, tremendous efforts going on under these uh, helmets, but just a couple hands, those laps to go, just two laps, and we're going to have a champion. Getting down to it right now, and Randy Burr would be your champion if it ends right now. The white flag will come out for your leader, Ken Cassidy, Jr. And while the next track, next flag will end it. They're completing their final lap, and then just out in the front on cruise control, that is Ken Cassidy. He is just rolling into victory lane. Check it flag for Ken Cassidy. Tyler Chapman comes in second. Randy Burr third. Todd Taylor fourth. G-Rod fifth. And then uh, our top five, uh, we're going to go back to our championship standards, the 32. Randy to several laps side by side and killed me in hard fought win. Congrats. Yeah, that last restart, uh, the carburetor started to bobble and he got around me and then it cleared up. Then it started bobbling again, so I didn't want to see another yellow. Uh, here we are. Yeah, I tell you, with the 11 truck, always looking so sweet. And you know, uh, after 75 laps, you know, it's a hard fought win. Who do you got to thank? Yeah, it's the longest race for me. I'm used to 25, you know. <laughs> uh, I got to thank everybody. Uh, M. Jolly and Son, Faith Construction, um, Evolve, Real, Taylor Lawn Care, all the tour sponsors. 
I appreciate us letting us uh, run. Marshall, uh, my sponsors, Spafco, Boyd's Use Auto Parts, Mix Cabaret, um, Amy Signs, uh, everybody that helps out, man. I'm real Thanks, I appreciate it. We just want to be patient, you know, a lot of good cars up front, awesome guys to race with. You know, I just want to give them as much room as we could and just let this thing work itself out. I know Lance is here from uh, Evolve Bank and Trust, and he's going to come over here and get a picture of you. Let's get in front of the race truck. And, uh, I know we've got a lot of people you want to thank for sponsors on this truck, and a good driver as well. I mean, it's Randy. It's good to have you here at the Speedball, that's for sure. And for this event, as champion, congratulations. Well, we'd like to thank Evolve for oh, all put so much time into the them, series. Uh, Marshall Hurley for all he does. Uh, Waterford for helping us out at the end of the year. Uh, my crew, Brandon, Jimmy. Uh, Phil, Robbie, uh, they, they all come out and help me all the time, and, and I couldn't do it without them. All right, man, it's been a growing, it's been a growing season for sure, and uh, picking, up the win and, uh, picking up that point, Chilo, not an easy task. No, it's a lot. Of, the guys that run up front are great. You, know, you get the 15, the 47, they're awesome. You know, and you can beat them, you're doing something for a day.